Good Thursday evening to you. I'm KSLA Chief Meteorologist Matt Jones. We're looking at a warm-up as we head into the day on Friday. Temperatures could be up close to 80 degrees thanks to a gusty south wind at around 10 to 20 miles an hour. Also looking at a lot of sunshine throughout the day. So a really nice Friday ahead. Still expecting a very warm and breezy Easter weekend across the Arklatex and then tracking a strong cold front that will arrive for the early part of next week. So let's talk more about that next week cold front. This is going to arrive on Monday night as it looks right now. And this is really the only game in town for the next seven days. Other than this, our seven-day forecast is looking very, very quiet. And even this front, latest forecast models really backing off on the rainfall with this. We could see some rain and storms possible. The best chance would be late Monday night into early Tuesday. Uh, but again, uh, forecast models are kind of backing off on this just a little bit. Now, the Storm Prediction Center, interestingly enough, does have the northwestern portions of the Arklatex underneath that slight risk area for Monday night. Although I do think this is a little bit overdone as far as the coverage of this. I think this is mostly going to end up being off to our west and north and really not impacting too much of the Arklatex. Here's a look at future track as we take you into that time frame. And this is, again, just one forecast model's depiction of how this might take place. But notice as we get into Monday night, we could see some strong storms off to our north and west, maybe a line developing along that cold front. But as these storms move into the Arklatex overnight tonight, or overnight uh, Monday night rather, they should start to diminish just a bit. So not really expecting, again, much of a severe weather threat. If we do see that, that's going to be mainly just to the north of the Arklatex. By noon on Tuesday, still a few showers and storms to the east, and then this quickly races out of here as we head towards Tuesday evening. So that's the story for that cold front next week. But tonight, not a lot going on here. We're going to have a mostly clear sky. Temperatures will be chilly once again. We'll be mostly in the 40s, but a few spots could be near 50 late tonight. Now looking ahead to tomorrow, beautiful conditions on the way. Plenty of sunshine, just a few clouds later in the afternoon. Uh, south wind at around 10 to 20 miles an hour, and that's going to bring in some much warmer air. So it's going to be a nice day. 80 degrees in Shreveport and Bossier. In fact, pretty much everyone across the Arklatex, very close to that 80 degree point as we head into the afternoon. Natchitoches, 79 degrees, and the Queen, Arkansas at 76. Here's a look at your Easter Sunday forecast. And for those heading to any sunrise services, it's going to be a warm start. Temperatures will already be in the upper 60s there by sunrise. Mid-70s for midday Easter egg hunts. And then as we get into the afternoon time frame, maybe you're having an early dinner in the afternoon. Temperatures will be into the low 80s. So again, very mild conditions. Let's look way, way ahead now. Now, we typically don't look this far ahead, but of course, we got a huge event coming up here. Monday, April 8th is the Great American Eclipse, and I wish wish I had better news for us, but it is just not looking very good at this point. It looks like a very stormy, very active pattern. And if you're going to Idabel, for example, which is going to be in the path of totality on Monday, April 8th, right now, forecast is calling for storms widespread across the area and temperatures in the mid 70s. So let's hope, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully that forecast will change between now and then. But as of now, not looking great for that eclipse. Here's a look at the first alert seven day forecast. And we're talking about some 80s on the way through the weekend. There's Easter Sunday, 81. 86 for Monday. Cold front arrives Monday night. And that brings some cooler temperatures Tuesday into Wednesday.